Hi there, my name is Bridget Hodge. I am one of Fit Small Business's retail experts, and today we're going to be taking a look at Shopify's point of sale software. So we're gonna be taking a look at the setup process, the point of sale features, as well as some of the other features that come along with your Shopify subscription. So let's get started. So I've gone ahead and I've signed up for Shopify. One thing you should note about Shopify as compared to other point of sale softwares like Square or Lightspeed is that in order to access Shopify's point of sale software, you have to sign up for one of their e-commerce plans. Those plans range from $9 to $299 per month, depending on the size of your business and what you need from the plan. But only through those e-commerce plans will you get Shopify point of sale. From there, you also have two plan options within your point of sale. You can get the light option, which is free with any uh, Shopify plan, or you can get the pro option, which is $89 per month per, lo per location on top of your e-commerce plan. Uh, the main difference between those two plans is the pro plan will have a couple more um, analytics features and um, it also allows for a couple more checkout features, all of which is enumerated in our Shopify point of sale review. But moving on from that, um, here, once you have signed up for your Shopify account, you will be brought to your home page where you will be prompted through a bunch of setup guides. So you will have a how to start your shipping video as well. There's a whole library of videos that you may access and that come up on the screen as you move through your setup process. So the first thing that you will be prompted to do is add a product. Um, this will go into your inventory library and these products. Um, when you go to add a product, the product page has a ton of useful information um, where you can include the title, a description, you can have um, media, you can tell wh what sales channels it's going to be a part of. Sales channels is something we'll get into uh, later. You can include its price, its barcode, its unit price from the manufacturer or supplier. Um, this will help you keep track of your margin and your profits as you sell through things. Um, and then all sorts of shipping information, including weight, where it's from, where it could be going, uh, things along those lines. So then with, uh, and it, you'll be prompted through all of these setup guides. Not a ton of these are pertinent to the point of sale system. They are more pertinent to setting up your Shopify online store, which we also have a ton of information on, on the Fit Small Business website. So we're gonna take a little look at some of the features um, that are accessible to you once you are a Shopify customer. So over here, you have all of your most important categories, things that you need to access at a glance. So you'll have your orders where this will keep track of all of your online orders. Um, so you can manage them right here from your dashboard. You'll have your inventory library, which is going to be tracking inventory across your sales channels, across different uh, sales platforms. And then this is a very helpful thing. You have your customer library. This again is going to be synced across your online, in-person, and other sales channels. All of your customer data will be stored right here. Um, and additionally, with if you do use a Shopify website, every time a customer enters their information on a Shopify website, um, they will be added to your customer library. In addition to your customer library, you will also have your finances where you can look at your um, sales, your gross profit margin, your earnings, your spendings. All of this will be tracked here live with your sales between all of your sales channels. So you can get a live overview of your finances at any point. Um, there's You can take a look at your balances, your billing, your payouts. All of that will be tracked right here, which makes accounting so much easier. And then another important thing that's um, a huge deal with point of sale systems is your analytics and reporting capabilities, which Shopify has a very comprehensive analytics and reporting. So not only do you have your finances that are going to be tracked, so you can keep your own personal 
um, accounts in line. This is a ton of analytics about your store performance. Um, so you'll have your total sales, your online store sessions, as well as a bunch of other uh, reports that you can add to your main analytics dashboard. In addition, with the Shopify Shopify plan, you will be sent daily reports about your uh, doors, your daily performance in your store. So all of this is built in automatically to all of the Shopify accounts. Then if you have any marketing initiatives, there's also a place to track that here, um, whether you are wanting to tracking them on apps or if you have a marketing software that you're running, you can track their performance here, which is great if you're trying to assess their effectiveness and how they're working with your customer base. Um, and then another great thing about Shopify is they make it extremely easy to give promotions and manage those promotions and discounts, um, both in your online store and in in-person checkout, which we will look at in just a moment. Um, here you will also have all of your apps right accessible on your dashboard. So that could be if you have a loyalty app, if you have a, um, a marketing app of any kind, if you have downloaded something to your point of sale system and it is performing in your store, you can track it here and access it here. Um, from there, oh, we'll just return to the home screen real quick. Another great thing about Shopify that we have highlighted throughout our article about Shopify and that really makes it stand out as a point of sale competitor is how seamlessly it can sync your omnichannel sales channels. Um, and what I mean by that is from your inventory to your analytics to your point of sale systems homepage at, to track and maintain your online store, your Instagram shop, your in-person store is absolutely seamless with Shopify. So let's take a look at those sales channels. So obviously you'll have your online store, which you will design and set up and begin selling. This comes with all Shopify accounts, um, unless you choose the Shopify light plan, in which case you can add the Shopify buy button to a third party website. And that buy button will sync with your um, point of sale or, and Shopify account in general, all the analytics and all the sales from that buy button. Um, speaking of the buy button, Here's where you can track that sales channel, where you can, this, and this again is a button that says buy that you can incorporate into third-party websites. So this is Shopify's way of saying, you can use our product and use all of the tools we have on a different platform. You don't have to have a Shopify website. And the light plan where you just get the buy button is $9.99 a month. Um, and also comes with point of sale light. So then if you have a Google store, if you have a Facebook shop, all of those can be tracked right in your sales channels. But the one that we're going to really take a deep dive in right now is the point of sale sales channel. So this is for all of your brick and mortar sales. There is a corresponding app. This is a recommended that you use this on a tablet device. So there's a corresponding app that has the actual um, place where you can scan your barcodes and perform transactions. But then here on your dashboard is where you can manage your point of sale system. And by that, I mean, so you have your overview here. This will help you get things set up um, and uh, get you selling within this app. But the features that we'll be taking a look at is you can add your staff members, give them a status, and that status has specific controls, things that they can access. So let's say I am signing up a new person and uh, adding a new staff member. They will have an individual pin that they can log into to, perf to use our point of sale system, but I don't really want them messing with my finances, analytic, marketing, or discounts. I don't want them to have access to those things. I could go through and say this is a their role, employee, and I could restrict their access. But now let's say I'm adding another person and I wanna make their role manager and I do want them to have access to the analytics and marketing, but not finance. I could restrict the access within that manager role as well. And then as I'm experiencing turnover and getting new roles, uh, introducing new people, I can just assign them roles that have set access points. Um, so that's really great. And here you can manage your staff, see how much they're working, see um, how well their sales are performing and all kinds of things like that. Here again, you can, you can view all of your locations. 
and then settings. This is where you can make your custom receipts, um, add logos to your point of sale system. Um, there aren't a ton of customizations, but this is where you would be taking care of those. So as you can see, Shopify has a, an extremely comp a comprehensive point of sale system with tons of tools at your disposal and omnichannel capabilities that are second to none. Um, the setup process is seamless and so well guided, just prompts you through every step you need to go through. And the point of sale capabilities are extremely helpful and integrate perfectly with the rest of your Shopify devices. So um, I hope you guys are enjoyed this overview and learned something about Shopify. Um, enjoy.